Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 Secret Species. We are going to be showcasing in today's video every one of the new species as well as the Lux variants of Indominus Rex and Indoraptor uh, because we have four new dinosaurs to check out in this showcase. Three of them are technically, I think, dinosaurs we've had before. Ankylodocus, Spinoraptor, and Stegoceratops are all creatures that were originally in Jurassic World Evolution, Spinoraptor being the one that was most wanted, I think we can all agree. Uh, it, it lived for all of two days and was crazy deadly, so I'm very interested to see how it stacks up in its Jurassic World Evolution 2 counterpart. And not only will we be showcasing these new dinosaurs, I still have the modded versions of the originals. That's them taken from Jurassic World Evolution and put into Jurassic World Evolution 2 via mods. So I'm kind of curious to see just how much of the models have changed from the original to the sequel. So without further ado, how about we start with the newest Ankylodocus. You see it's releasing animation here. And there is something very special about this guy. And that is the head has changed. Oh, can we get him? <laughs> yeah, finally. I don't know how long it has taken. But my God, it's, it took a long time for us to see a nice looking head for Ankylodocus. I, I say a long time. We only had one and it was bloody awful. But here, this is a way more improved version of Ankylodocus. I think we can all agree. Not only the head sculpt, but actually the entire body looks beautiful. Look at this guy. Now it feels as though it's definitely got a bit of its uh, ankylosaur counterpart put onto a Diplodocus. I've got a head. There we go. Dr. Wu certainly knew what he was doing when it came to creating these hybrids. Take this Ankylodocus. Not only has it got a long, slender, whip-like tail, but check out the bulbous club at the end of it. Bulbous! <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go giving it a reason to take a swing at you, okay? Oh, it looks kind of cool. Um, I mean, out of all of the dinosaurs in this DLC, I think we can all agree that Ankylodocus is probably what... Oh, here we go. I think we're going to see a socializing animation. Nice, nice. Always good to see. But yes, I was going to say, out of all of the dinosaurs, Ankylodocus was the one I think people were least excited for because it's a sauropod. Chances are it's not going to have any other kind of animations, uh, like a, an attacking animation, a killing animation. But that's what I'm kind of curious about because it is a dinosaur. Oh, I think we're, we're lining up here. I think we're lining up for... A social animation. Oh, here and there. Oh, they're touching tips. They're touching tails. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, the thing is with um, uh, herbivores in this game, they have a lot less animations per se because they don't have feeders in this game because they eat trees. Uh, whereas carnivores and things that eat fish all gather around a feeder and do different animations so it's unfortunate that uh this pack has got three well technically three uh herbivores the spinoceratops is actually a fish eater so we will get to see some more unique animations with that i do want to see this thing um i, I don't think velociraptors take it on but maybe a medium carnivore might get hit by it that would be really cool but before we get into that, how about we compare it to the original? This is the one straight from Jurassic World Evolution, put into the game via mods on PC. Uh, again, another reason why just PC is just so good to get. Um, when I back when I played JPOG, I was like, why why can't I have the things in the box? The box art looks so cool. Uh, partly was because the box art wasn't actual gameplay, but. Um, the stuff like the visitor center was unlocked by PC and had to be accessed via high quality settings. Uh, and not to go on a, a little bit of a tangent, but um, that's why I ended up having like my first version of 
Operation Genesis was PlayStation 2. Second one was PC. And don't regret that. So here we go. Quite a big difference. I mean, if we just pause here and just take a look at the head. Um, well, you know, it's interesting. I, I've grown, I've grown. This is almost like, it's a, it's like one of those the old Dragon 90s movies. You know, like um, Braveheart or something like that. I think it was Bra Dragonheart. That was it, not Braveheart. <laughs> It just, it's got some weird human lips. Uh, the eyes are very, it's, it's odd. It's a very odd looking thing. I look at this now. Maybe it's too ankylosaur. It does look like it just got plopped on. Mm. Mm, I don't know. The longer I'm looking at it, the longer I'm like, does it work? I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me because I don't know. It, yeah, I, I sort of catch glimpses of it and I'm like, what the hell's that doing on there? <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm so used to seeing the ankylosaur head on an ankylosaur. I mean, it's slightly too loose. He looks so goofy. Oh, I like that little sitting animation. That's cute. So we've seen a shake. We've seen a scratch. We've seen a sit. We've seen a play. Um, and I don't think these guys have. Oh, no, they will because they probably just take after. Uh... Oh, is that you? You made that noise, you might have made that noise. I'm really not too sure. I do want to release an Indominus Rex uh, against this thing just to see if there is anything unique. Also, anyone who wants to see the stats, this is what they need. Tall leaf, tall fruit nut. Just go over any of the other things that you might want to check out. Oh, we're going to see it from this direction now. Unless, nope, just going to have a little bit of a sit. So, you know what? Let's release a big carnival and just see if there's any difference. In its little likes and dislikes panel, it says that it doesn't like Indominus Rex and Scorpius Rex specifically. Now, out of the two, Scorpius Rex is smaller and definitely the more frail. I mean, look at it there. This has almost got whacked by the tail. Not so releasing this thing chance. could be interesting. Okay, while well, Scorpius Rex is getting acclimatized to everything, let's release the Lux variant because all of the hybrids now have one. And this is the Ankylodocus's variant. Now you can change the regular skin, but the glowy will always be in there. And there was a mod, I think, that gave every dinosaur um, a sort of glow and... Obviously, Frontier were like, oh, well, that's a really good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, there we go. We've got some more socializing there from these two. They sort of like talk to each other at the front and then they bat tail clubs together. Quite an interesting one. Just glad to see some sort of interaction there. Oh, my God. Okay. Yep. Uh, Scorpius Rex is whoop, straight in there. Um, yeah. Didn't have any unique animation. He just went for the back foot like Scorpius Rex normally does. Even though these guys have massive club tails. It would have been so cool if the Scorpius Rex went into bite. And then when it was like, you know, doing its pit bull draggy thing. Then Clodicus just went, bam! <laughs> just whapped it with its tail. Like, took no damage. The Ankylodocus is poisoned now for five minutes. And is probably gonna die. You know what? Let's just release the Indominus Rex and get this bloody over with. Okay. Oh, there we go. And bites and bites. Okay. Well, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wu. But pretty much this guy, unfortunately, has no unique animations. Maybe it might share one with a... Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, it's got a ragdoll. Beautiful. It might share something interesting with another, like, smaller dino, but it really just looks like it's another big sword pod, which, I don't know, it's a shame. Usually when it comes to these dinosaur DLC packs, you'll have one dinosaur which seems to get way more live than the others, and unfortunately, in this one, Ankylodocus isn't one of them. So, let's move on to the other one, shall we? And the next one is, of course, Stegoceratops. We have waited! for this to come back from the original game. And I don't know about you, but it looks incredibly similar to the other one. Um, interesting. Okay. Nice to see a cool animation of it, like, showing its frills and stuff, its uh, plates so as it runs out. It has everything. The horns, the frill, the plates, the spikes. 
This is a creation straight from the brilliant mind and laboratory of Dr. Henry Wu. Well, maybe it is. But how does it function? Will it make use of its spiky tail? Because I think in the original, it didn't. It just acted like a triceratops. Um, maybe it's... Oh, oh, we got some running going on there. Ah, oh, lovely Lost World sound effect there from the Triceratops. Hopefully we can get a recording of that with some other uh, Stegoceratopses. And just like the Ankylodocus, I do want to check out, you know, its interaction or how it looks with the other old one from the original game. Just to see as to whether, you know, of course there had to be extra animations put in, but did they change it at all? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, it's all like Pucks. <laughs> It pucks? It lifts up its leg. Oh, that's interesting. It pucks. That's what it does. It's from Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I think that might have been slightly different to the other animation we saw over there. So we might be looking at multiple variants. That's cool. Let's see. So this, this might be the leg lifting one. So it comes in. Ah! <laughs> so it pushes it, and the other one gives it a little telling off, like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> That's quite nice. I like that. But again, this is a herbivore. Uh, what does it need? Forest, ground fruit, water, ground fiber. Okay. Uh, it doesn't get on with no Zootoceratops, Taurosaur, Carnivores, Ankylosaurids, Stegosaurs, or Therizinosauruses. But... I want to see it in the dual scenario to see if it makes use of its tail spinning around a bit like the Stegosaur does, or if it's just, you know, going to headbutt a bit like most of the other Ceratopsians do. Oh, this is a cutie! We got a little mud bath roll! Now, I'm not too sure if that's unique to Stegoceratops. I think I've seen that with a couple of other ones. Hey, little wiggly bum bum. Right, I've said it, so they can also have a fight with Baronek. So it'll only be a matter of time until we see something duel it. Oh, oh, here we go. Stegoceratops against the Giganotosaurus. This could be interesting. It's a green boy. You know, even though this is like new, it doesn't feel new to me because... Oh, okay. Right, yep, yep, there we go. Because we've had it in a mod. Uh, but, right, so... Yeah, doesn't stand a chance against Giganotosaurus, apparently. Oh, there's the blood. Lovely jubbly. Okay, but how about a weakened, already Baryonyx against one of these guys? Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, so yeah, it, it's basically the Triceratops animation we've seen. It's unfortunate because you could really get some unique kind of kills or animations with the spike tail and, you know, it rolls over the, the, the crest and then, like, lands on the spike of the tail or I don't know, but... Hey yo, looks like Ankylodocus and Stegoceratops didn't get the most love when it came to this. But I am very curious about the original. This is the modded one from Jurassic World Evolution, completely unchanged. So I would like to see what it looks like in comparison to one of the Stegoceratopses from the newest DLC. Like, have they changed much at all? Okay, so right off the bat, it doesn't look like it or not that i can really pick up the head sculpt might be different i think these guys might be more similar to a jurassic park triceratops and the newer ones look maybe more akin to the jurassic world triceratopses but i think that's probably up to up for debate you've got one two three four five little baby spikes on the side and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six baby spikes on the side for this guy. So yeah, it looks like what they did was they took the original model and then they just added more topology to it, more detail to it. And here you have the new sword. Okay, so I think they probably did that for Ankylodocus. Oh, they definitely did. Ankylodocus looks completely different to its other one. Um, but this was one that I was more suspect of. I was thinking maybe it will be just a complete rip and copy and paste sort of job. But no, they definitely changed it. But who would win in the fight? New versus old. New on the left, old on the right. Let's go. I'm going to assume the old's going to win because... 
I don't know. Oh, yep, there we go. He's dead. Yeah, I thought so. And a modded class, the modded classic death of psycho telekinesis. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, they don't stand a chance. No, I've done too many battle royales in my time to know how that's going to go. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the other ceratopsid in this lineup, the uh, spinoceratops. So let's have a look at these guys, these Spinoceratops. Now we've... Oh, they're cutie. They don't want to leave. Oh, but someone's brazen. Yes. And this is the Lux variant as well. Now, I haven't really showcased the Lux. We'll do it at the end and we'll change it all tonight. And then we can just see what they all look like. But Lux, fairly different. Kind of similar. It's got that sloped... Oh, God. Hold on. There's something a little different. A Spinoceratops. Here we have a hybrid that's more than happy living in colder climates, but uh, I'm still counting on you to give it a warm welcome, huh? <laughs> so, a little nod there to uh, Camp Cretaceous, where I think it was first found in the Arctic. Uh, so, let's see if we can see uh, some sort of social animation before, finally, this guy has eating animations because not only does it eat shrubberies, but it also eats fish because it's part Spinosaur, I guess. So it looks like these are three different skins, but because they've all got the looks, uh, their sail will also be purple. Would be interesting if you could get a Jurassic Park three colored um, Spinoceratops. In fact, you do actually have character colored Spinoceratopses. This, I think, is Angel, and I do not remember what the other one is. All I know is one had red eyes, and unfortunately, well, I guess we could have just made one. So we'll quickly rush these guys out. So this is, let's have a look. Angel, I was right, you are Angel. And this is the other one. Now, we never saw a fully grown adult Spinoceratops in the show. Oh, it already has, oh wait, no, it doesn't have Hookworm. If this is Rebel, that's right, it's Rebel and Angel. So I'm assuming we'll see a lot more of the animation. Yep, there it is again. This one gets under. Oh, they're all doing it. Ah, they're all going off in pairs. But what I'm curious about is to see what they're like eating out of the fish feeder. Now, I would like to have these guys face up against Toro because we've already had a Camp Cretaceous DLC pack. And that came with Scorpius Rex. It came with uh, the skin for Toro. So it would be very interesting to see what goes on with these guys. We've got any interactions here, so it sticks its little beak in. Interesting to see a Ceratops in fishing, but... No! Come, 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 come. Bitter sushi never hurt anybody. Oh my god, I've done a Dutch Dutch angle. Ah, how to do this. Angel and Rebel. Okay, any interesting animations together? Oh! Oh, I've never seen that before. Hey, there we go. <laughs> like, I, now, now stop that now. No advantages here. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oh, totes of dobs. 10 out of 10 beavers. Right, next on to the interesting things. How does it die? Okay, so these are all base genomes. They don't have any uh, buffs or anything like that. And the same with the Spinoceratops. So, a normal vanilla Tora. Let's see how that does. All right, Toro, that isn't burnt. Let's see how you do. That's right, you've never met Toro, I don't think. Did Toro die? I think it came back at one point after it was burnt, so this is pre-burnt Toro. <laughs> We've got the uh, Spinoceratops is just eating some of the plants there. Toro seems to be okay. Doesn't really want to pick a fight with these guys. Yet. Is this a fight between other Spinoceratopses? Oh, that's not cool. He just took a side hit on there. He wasn't prepared. Bad angel. Naughty. You can't pick on Lux just because it's prettier in the dark. Oh, 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 oh. It looks like we have a fight here with Toro. Could we get some interesting animations? Let's see. Go on, Toro. You look very skinny, though. Especially in comparison to this guy who's absolutely chonkified. <laughs> Wait, what's going on over here? I can hear other things. All right, back to the battle. Okay, okay. Well, uh, do we, should we speed this up? It looks like it's going to be a fair match, to be fair. To be fair, 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 fair. I think we'll probably just speed this up. Yep, a little bit of a dance around. And Spinoceratops wins. Oh, Toro. 
Picking a fight with a completely different Spinoceratops. Now, Angel coming in with a fight. You still are on like 90% health, so... I don't know if this was the smartest idea. Oh, oh, that did not look good at all. Oh, and the first Spinoceratops comes back to finish the job. And Toro, probably going to meet its end here. It's on 45% health. This one's on 100. And... Oh, not an impalement, but enough of a, a shunt to kill Toro there. Let's see how it does against a Scorpius Rex. Because that's it. Three uh, Camp Cretaceous creatures now. Oh, already starting with a fight. You waste no time, do you? Jesus. Five seconds alive and it's already like, kill me. <laughs> Are you going to hit again? Remember when it hit, when it does hit it? Oh, one hit and ran away. Didn't even get off its poison or venom there. Okay, against Alice. Oh, sorry, uh, Angel. That's the one. Uh, no, it's A's names. Okay, so two hits. Interesting. And it, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, that's a venom. That's a venom on the Spinoceratops. Would be interesting if Spinoceratops is the only dinosaur that, you know, can't be venomed. It's like immune to the venom. That would be an interesting little Easter egg because, you know, they're going to be like, yes, I yes, I want a Jew toy. Uh, already it's fighting another one, a completely different one. Again, I mean, we've seen this with Scorpius Rex. It just, even in the Battle Royales, it just attacks everything. Um, no matter how frail it is, what the disadvantage advantage is, and oh, that, I think that's like two hits on the Scorpius Rex. If it does the tail, then it's done just damage straight to it. But I think, oh, that down it goes. Didn't stand much of a chance. Ah, what a shame. Okay, Indominus Rex picking a fight with this one. I think this is Rebel. Angel's the lighter one. This one is not. But oh, what a beautiful, beautiful color scheme we've got going on here. This looks great. Both pe Oh! Whoa, that was cool. I don't know if I've seen that before, but like the, the headbutt to get it over with. Normally they, I don't know, go like bite and fall, but that was just the headbutt for that. I don't know if that was unique. And on to the final and most anticipated one of all, the Spinoraptor. Actually, as far as I'm aware, it's the only dinosaur I've seen that needs a platform. So God knows what all that's about, but let's release it. Yes. Now you can only make a max of two of these guys. Oh, wait, never mind. I lied. Three. <laughs> oh, 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 I saw that there. That was cool. That was its uh, animation there. Oh, so it runs in front, has a little conversation. Then they make friends. They make up in the end. Very cute. Let's see if we can get a good close up shot of that one. Might see it here. This looks like we're lining up for something. Yep. Yep. There it is. It's like, oh, oh, you surprised me. I love you. You do. I love you. Spot on translation for what they just said. Oh my God, they're all ready. <laughs> it's like, the ghost's not even there. It's like, I want to kill it. I want to kill it. Okay, let's see. Come on, Mr. Goat. You got this, dude. Right, for some reason, they're not hunting the goat. But... How could they resist the adorable face that is a velocephaly? That's right. Run, Britties, run. It, he, it's just happened. He's ran, but it's too close. Yeah, they, they want to attack him, but he's, <laughs> he's too unafraid. Okay, they're, ab they're about to do it, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, dude. You're about to die. Get, pr get ready. Once you stop... Oh, there it is. Yes! <laughs> oh, bless. They all went for it. Just, it's like something clicked in their heads. Like, oh, wait. It's kind of fish shaped, isn't it? Oh, no, another one dead. And there they go, chomping on Homalo Cephalae Burger. All right, little Homalo. Let's see how you do this time. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> the other one was yelling at it. That was my kill. Mine. All right, well, let's see how you do against Therizinosaurus. Now, come on, out you get. There he is. Lovely. So, apparently, they don't like them. Uh, they are technically a raptor, but I'm assuming they won't hunt in packs. Could be wrong, because Therizinosaurus does get jumped on by Velociraptors and the such. All right, we're calling over a fight here between the two. 
Spider Raptor versus Thera. And uh, oh, the slash from the Theras and the Saurus. Now, in the last game, Spino Raptor, you did not want to mess with it. It was so killer. The only unfortunate thing was it cost so much and it also died really quickly because it had such a short lifespan. Just like I thought, another Spino Raptor comes in now while the other one's resting. So, should be in the Spino Raptor's favor, and it is. Okay. Oh! Ah, that's a shame. No special animation, but let's throw an Indominus Rex into the mix, because that has some cool, unique animations with Indoraptor, where it picks it up and shakes it. I think T-Rex does with Indoraptor too. So let's see if Indominus Rex has a cool kill animation against Spino Raptor. Oh, wait, never mind. Indominus Rex actually gets on with Spino Raptor. <laughs> okay. Does catch the goat and then boot it a million miles. So let's see. The picks it up and oh, they just throws it. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank you for killing it. Yes. Oh, they do hunt together. That is interesting. Like once one of them charges, the other one goes and then. Oh, okay. Goes for the spinal column at the back and then just, I don't know, breaks it. Now, I imagine that because they didn't all latch on to the Therizinosaurus and did a single battle, that they're not going to jump onto any of the other herbivores. Like, so like uh, Parasaurolophus, for instance, it'll just have that singular kill animation where it just jumps, pulls it down and kills it. But it will be interesting to see it though, because that will be unique to the Spinoraptor, I would imagine. Oh, they all sort of like slept together. That was cute. Oh, and then they woke up with this guy. Ah, so because he's the alpha, he woke up first, then woke up the other ones. That's interesting. Very interesting. I do like this. Very reminiscent of JPOG. JPOG was heavily like this, with there was parameters to how far the rest of the pack members could be away from the uh, pack leader before they had to run back, or when the pack leader wanted to hunt. All the others pretended that they wanted to hunt, even though they didn't. Very similar to that. Carithosaur, how will you die? Oh, oh, pulls down. There you go. I mean, kind of expected that. There you go. The alpha gets the kill. Okay, Mr. Gallimimus, how will you die? Okay, you're going to run away first. Well done, well done. Good strategy. Here it comes. And... Oh, it's just a pin down. It's like the Draco Rex. Okay, interesting. And there we have it. T-Rex against Spinoraptors. Are the Spinoraptors scared, though, is the question. First battle instantly. Okay. I think, anyway, or it could just be roaring. I think that's probably roaring. Okay, the final battle. How will T-Rex die to a Spinoraptor? And it's just the pounce and fall. I, I thought as much, but you know what? We give it a shot here just in case. But there is still one thing we haven't seen, and that's the one I've been looking forward to the most, and that is, how does it kill a human? Oh, how are they gonna go? Ooh, here we go, here we go. And, oh, oh, it's a pickup by the foot, a shake, and a drop. The, oh, the person's not dead yet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so picks them up by the foot. They don't die. Smacks them against the floor. And then throws them. And then they die. Oh, we got another one here. <laughs> picks them up. And the whack. Yeah, and whew. They're running into the damn enclosure. They're, they're practically begging to be killed. Come on, look at them. They have no idea. What are you doing? <laughs> it is a shit. Whoa. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Hold your prize high. <laughs> Look at it. That's gorgeous. And then we throw it. Whoopee. We could sort of compare what these spiner raptors look like in comparison to the old ones. But if I'm honest, they kind of look very similar. Obviously, this is the old model put onto Velociraptor animations, so it looks a little bit different. But really, I mean, this is... The model's the same as the last one, I'm pretty sure. And it looks very similar. There's a few differences, I think, especially with the, the frill there. Um, I don't know which ones are... Which one's on the outside? Okay, so this is the new one here. Yep. Tiny little frill. 
long snout, a little bit of dip with the mouth. And then you've got these guys, which small, yeah, little dip with the mouth. So they have been slightly remodeled, but if we're being honest, unless you're knowing what to look for and you have the two to compare, I don't think I would even know the difference. Okay, so we've set this to night, and this is what the Indominus Rex looks like. Wow. Ooh. Kind of looks like um, a skull crawler with the way its highlights are. Damn. Okay. That, lo that looks kind of boss. I like that. Now, Indoraptor with its red highlights. Oh, even the quills are highlighted. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. And you know, for the change slightly during the day, I think this looks amazing. Okay, I think Spinoraptor does have some too. They're gonna need to, oh, there they are, look at them. <laughs> Woo! You were killed by bioluminescence petal. Oh, the face, that looks awesome. We got, I can see them out there. That guy obviously, oh wait, no, that's the, the old ones. But the new ones have the bioluminescence. Let's have a check of the Sinoceratops, or Spinoceratops, sorry. Ooh, even better. I like the the white color on top with the pink. So far, you're a winner. And, oh, freaking Ankylodocus with the Plasma Godzilla blue? What? Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're a green one. So, Stegoceratops green. Ankylodocus blue, Spinoceratops is pinky white, Indoraptor is red, and Indominus Rex is very light green or light blue. It's almost white. And then Spinoraptor is kind of just like a pinky. Oh, I don't know which is my favorite. I think I like the fact that these guys have basically two colors. Look, it kind of pulsates at the front there. You got a pink and a white. Probably my least favorite is the Stegoceratops, just because of its... I don't know, it's just green. I like the blue. Neon blue, that's a vibe. I like that. This I've seen plenty of times. Sorry, this one I've seen plenty of times with the parasol look sort of effect. Okay, my favorite... Ooh, could it be Dominus? Oh... I'm gonna say it's Spinoceratops. I like, I like how its frill really um, draws your attention. It draws the eye, um, and it's just got multiple different types of bioluminescence. The crest is different. You've got the spine, as well as the top of the body here has a dark part too, which is nice. Second, I'll give to Indominus Rex. I do like the the way. Oh, where is he? I do like this. I like the skull. The way that skull is. Indoraptor's probably one of my least favorites. A little bit of the eyebrows, but I like the skull. I like how it, it leaves the eye dark. And then followed by Ankylodocus, who's probably third. And Spinoraptor is kind of just... Yeah. I think Spinoraptor just looks cool on its own without the bioluminescence and the different patterns you can probably make from it. So out of all of them, worst... Indoraptor, favorite Spinoceratops, followed by a close Indominus Rex. But if you've enjoyed this, this video, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye.